Hi guys, how are you? In this video, I want to talk about PRP for Peyronie's disease, that is platelet-rich plasma injections. Um, I had this done many years ago and I thought it did help. And I want to make this video to tell you my opinion on it and also because there is a clinical trial going on right now for Peyronie's and PRP, which will finish next year in March or May. I will link that in the description of the video. And um, basically, I, I do think it helped, so I just want to kind of go on record saying that. Um, what PRP is, is they draw some of your blood and then they spin that around in a centrifuge to separate the plasma from your blood. And then they inject that plasma into a part of your body that's injured in order to promote healing, in this case, the penis. So there's a lot of research on PRP and ligament, tendon, or muscle uh, injuries. And that research does show that PRP promotes healing. Um, I think it's a little bit complex, maybe a little bit messy of a science, which I will talk about in a moment, but it does seem to work. Um, and it does seem to even prevent fibrosis in some models. Um, but, uh, there's, there's, um, but there's not much research on the penis and, and PRP. There's some research on PRP and ED. And there is one study though on Peyronie's and PRP plus hyaluronic acid injections. And that did show good results. And I will you know, link that as well. Uh, it showed good results for reducing Peyronie's symptoms. And, um, you know, we don't have many studies on anything with Peyronie's, you know, almost nothing, you know. Um, so I think that even though it's one study, I think we should take it seriously. And if this clinical trial shows good benefits, I think we should consider it again. Now, I know some guys did not report benefits. And when PRP for Peyronie's kind of became a thing on the forum, um, we had kind of a little trial where a bunch of members tried PRP, including myself, and then we reported our results. And some guys <clears throat> um, reported great results and even um, showed before and after pictures. Other guys reported really no benefit. And, you know, I think the, the most recent post on that thread actually is um, mostly negative. I think the guy um, even showed pictures and said, you know, his Peyronie's pay keeps getting worse despite the PRP. And it was a waste of money. So, and that's something you want to consider because I think it costed me about $1,000 just to get this this injection. Now, of course, that's, you know, not much money at all compared to Zyflex. And I personally think PRP is more promising than Zyflex or at least um, more useful in some cases, but we'll see, you know, we don't have the information yet, but, um, you know, whether or not it's worth it for you to do, I really can't say it's a lot of money, but I will say that the first thing you want to do if you have Peyronie's, you know, I'm not a urologist, I'm not a doctor, but my opinion is that you should be doing traction right away for Peyronie's and consider the oral therapies, you know, Cialis, um, and the supplements, which I will talk about in another video. But really, in my opinion, my own personal opinion, heat and traction and diet um, and modifying your sexual habits, that's what you want to do right off the bat. And do you really need to spend $1,000 on an injection? I don't think so. But to tell you what you know, my experience was, I'll tell you that you know, the sheer fact that you are putting extra volume in the penis, I think that alone is therapeutic. And I could tell, uh, you know, for a year and a half, I had this extra volume in my penis. Um, you know, my penis was thicker and longer. It was almost too big with this PRP, um, harder and everything. Um, it actually felt really good. And the extra volume made traction more effective. Um, it really helped pop out those dents and kind of fill things out. And if I had worsening again, if I notice some narrowing or something, I would probably do PRP again. Uh, I, you know, I, I mean, maybe I'll change my mind. Who knows, you know, if I really did get worsening, what I would do, but I can see myself doing it again, because when you have dense or hourglassing, that's very hard to, to deal with. You really have to do a lot of stretching. I mean, I had to do a lot of traction by hand to really, um, get my dents to smooth out at a lot of different angles and really work with it, you know, and, um, it's difficult. And I think having that extra volume helps. I'm not going to say that it's going to cure Peyronie's. Clearly, that's not the case. But anything to just kind of push out those dents, I think is helpful. Now, ironically, in the clinical trial, they actually excluded men with hourglass deformity. 
And I think that's really unfortunate because my whole thing, in my opinion, is that, you know, the whole reason to do PRP would be to, to um, treat the hourglass deformity. And in fact, there was a guy I was coaching for a while, a young guy, uh, 19 um, or so. I was, I was talking to him for like a year and, you know, his penis kept getting thinner and thinner. Um, and it was just destroying him. I remember him crying on the phone with me and um, it was just destroying him. And I know that feeling. Um, it's, a, it's a terrible feeling. Uh, it's this body horror, you know, and it uh, strikes you at such a core level. Um, I mean, it's beyond words. It, it is just awful. But um, I think, you know, what, what I said to him is, okay, let's do night, um, daily Cialis, low dose, and do this PRP because he had a way to do it for cheap, actually, for cheaper. Now, after he got that PRP, he just stopped talking to me. Um, and I followed up and he said, everything's fine. You know, so it kind of, it got rid of that thinning. It totally seemed to have completely gotten rid of that thinning issue he had because it gave him that extra volume. And again, I'm just saying just on this extra volume um, aspect, I think it can kind of take you out of a dire situation. Now, I haven't talked to him for quite a while, a year, maybe things got worse. Maybe it didn't help. Maybe after the PRP wore off, things got worse. But he, um, I mean, I still think you want to do anything you can to stop the, the narrowing. Um, I, I really think it's too bad that this clinical trial didn't include people with, with narrowing because I think it's very promising. Um, as, for, as far as a curve, if you have like a 90 degree curve, I mean, you know, what is it really going to do? I, I don't know. Maybe maybe it will help. We'll see with the results of the study. But um, so that's just, you know, about the volume. And there was a study on rats that compared several injectables for Peyronie's disease and fibrosis. And one was Verapamil, I think. Um, I'll have to find this study later. But it compared Verapamil and also just saline injections, which is just like water. And it found that even the saline injections reduced fibrosis and kind of restored erectile function. So that shows that just extra volume in the penis does seem to help the penis, regardless of what it is. Now, please do not self-inject. Um, there was recently a terrible incident with somebody injecting natokinase and some enzymes. Um, I think just in general, it's, it's not a good idea. Uh, so please don't self-inject. But... Um, but that said, I think that if there is a safest thing to inject in the penis, wouldn't that be your own blood plasma? It kind of makes sense. Now, as far as the actual science of PRP, I do think it's potentially promising, but there's, there's one thing to note, which is that it increases TGF beta um, or contains TGF beta. I'm not quite sure how it works, but PRP does increase TGF beta, which is a pro-fibrotic cytokine or cytokine. And... Um, you know, uh, basically, there was a study on rats that actually showed that PRP induced Peyronie's and fibrosis. And it was, you know, the researchers were kind of saying, oh, well, you know, this is, um, a, you know, a good way to induce the Peyronie's, you know, uh, create the Peyronie's kind of model and all this. Um, and um, that's very counterintuitive, because as I said, we do have a re um, we do have research on Peyronie's with the hyaluronic acid and PRP and that did show good results. So I don't know what that means. Okay. Now fibrosis is much more complex than just TGF beta. I'd say if you're focusing on TGF beta, that's kind of superficial, um, like taking pentoxifiline. Yes, that will lower um, TGF beta. And maybe that's a great thing to do, but that's not going to take care of the entire issue there. So, um, so I don't know. I mean, in my case, it seemed to not make things worse at all as far as inflammation in my penis, and it did not seem to make anything worse. So I have no idea. Um, we, we definitely need more information, and maybe it matters when you get the injection, you know, early on in your diagnosis or later. I have no idea. We just don't know, but I wouldn't be too alarmed by that rat study. Um, but either way, you know, we can wait and see um, next year what happens. But I think, um, yeah, I think just the extra volume could be really helpful. You know, I, I love Restorex and I love traction by hand. I've been using Restorex lately to see if I can get my penis to be even more like before I got Peyronie's. Um, and it is working. I, I love Restorex. 
Um, and I'm thinking to myself, man, this really provides a good stretch. And having extra volume with from PRP and then stretching would be like God tier. You know, I'm like, man, like I'm so tempted to just go do it. Um, but I don't know. I, I think I'll wait until um, I, if I ever have worsening, maybe I'll consider it or something. But um, yeah, I think that extra volume could be great. And I think that we should, you know, consider that maybe it is antifibrotic um, in the penis, despite that rat study. We'll see. Um, that's really it, guys. Uh, I, I just want to go on record saying that I do think it's potentially useful. And please check out the clinical trial. You know, um, I'll make another video when the trial is over. But that's really it. I, um, you know, I'm really sorry to any of you who got it done and didn't have benefits, you know, um, that really sucks. And again, don't waste your money on injections like right away. I, I mean, personally, I would say just do traction, change your diet to one that is very anti-diabetic, keeping your insulin very low, ketogenic diet, a healthy ketogenic diet, vegan or carnivore does not matter, um, and consider Cialis. And that's about it. But um, yeah, it, and and again, yeah, if, if you were to, um, I guess I should say, if you were to spend money on one thing for Peyronie's, I would say go for RestoreX because it's 500 bucks. It's a lot. But, you know, I do think it's the best traction device. And I would, you know, I would recommend, yeah, if you're going to buy anything, make it RestoreX. But that is it, guys. Um, let me know if you got the shot what you thought, if it helped, if it didn't help at all, um, or, you know, if you know anything about the research, let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are doing okay. I know this disease is absolutely brutal, and I, I will do my best to make more videos to be there for you guys in the future. So um, thank you and take care.